They'll be calling you a radical. Hi, Kevin Blanche. I want to get back to Fukushima. I have not dropped the ball on Fukushima. And I want to talk about what is going on as far as the environmentalist movement, which is fucking nothing. As I like to say, goody, goody, two shoes. What do you do? Don't fight, don't think. What do you do, you goody, two shoes motherfuckers? As Fukushima is raining over your fucking children. And all you moms and all you fucking hairspray fake fucking radicals who call yourself Christians, just stand by and do nothing. You are fucking pathetic. You make me fucking sick. Look, as that intro video as you go in, as I call it, the Ballad of Tim to Christopher. Look, as Fukushima happens, there's a lot going on in Japan right now. A lot going on in Japan right now. With trying to charge the execs of TEPCO criminally. With number four still sitting there, teetering naked. And everybody's all, oh God, number four is going to go. Uh, there's 252 just like them right here in the United States. And you fucking do nothing. I want to talk about all of you that are so fucking concerned. As none of you fucking do nothing. You stand by. The environmental movement is pathetic. At least all you young people know that the environmental movement, the latte eating, soft fucking spoken, softy as I call them, fucking liberal is pathetic. Nothing has happened in 40 years. Well, I shouldn't say nothing's happened in 40 years. We've worked backwards in 40 years because of people like the Sierra Club. It's like River Watchers. I like to say Bobby Kennedy fucking Jr. couldn't make a people on his father's head. They're fucking pathetic. If you have never read The Monkey Ranch Gang, if you don't know who Edward Abbey is, if you don't know who Larry Bogart is, if you don't know who John Goff is, if you don't know who Rachel Carson is, if you don't know the story of Teddy Roosevelt, you better get to work. I mean, when we were young, we, you know how long it took us to understand and educate ourselves in this thesis? We had to read books, we had to go through stuff so deep, so hardcore. You could just Google it. If you don't know who the story, what's going on with Tim DeChristopher now, I don't want to hear from anybody, fucking bitch. It is a fucking marquee, iconic, gigantic metaphor of all time for everything wrong with the environment, everything wrong with America. As the BP executives fucking annihilate that fucking dog, commit fucking crimes left and fucking right, and you're all good, baby, drill. As Tim DeChristopher basically does nothing, just tries to call it, and he's sitting in prison for two years. You young people, don't turn out like these baby boomer do nothing pieces of fucking phony hair sprayed fucking shit. And fucking, I'll go kill him, mother, kill him, mother. As fucking, he stands up there and lies his fucking ass off in front of the fucking UN. And you fuckers get your roof or fucking leash out and they lead you. Why well, is in the hospital this winter? I made it. Thought I might die, but my favorite tree apparently did that. I grew up right here. This is our family farm. This is where I live right here. That's Mount Auburn. That's where the 2002 yeah, Olympic down. That's my favorite tree right there. That cotton that hangs out over the oxbow of the river right here. I spent so much of my life here. I'm heartbroken. This is the first time I've been able to get down here. I am heartbroken. It apparently looks like it's died just now. I can't believe it. It's sad. A lot of blue herons have lived down here. A lot of red wing I mean, every bird you can freaking think of in this little gym, this magnificent place. And, you know, you think I'm out in the middle of Timbuktu? Well, I kind of am, but that's the mighty walk right there. Right there. Two million people living. Look, to all you young people, Fukushima, as I like to say to all you people and all you young moms over there and have young children, goody goody two shoes, what do you do? Don't think, don't fight, don't fight, don't think, what do you fucking do? You don't do fucking shit, suck up fucking air. Look, if you want outrage, Fukushima is not going to go. If you think this is just the story that's run a cycle, oh no, this is going to be the big mega story of your whole fucking life, and your kids' whole life, and your kids' kids. This is Chernobyl on Balco. No doubt, as I said that morning thereof, as I went on my tyrants and I went fucking crazy. Look, you people, you can Google Tim to Christopher. You can Google Rachel Carson. You can Google Edward Abbey. You can Google fucking Seldom Seen Sam. You can fucking Google Monkey Ranch Gang, Rachel Carson. We had to read books and points and we had to get fucking obliterated. We marched. We had great people pushing us, environmentalists like Blackfoot Dickerson and Larry Bogart and Rachel Carson. I had to get indoctrinated that way. I had to get leukemia. I had to watch my father die to turn me into a hard, strong fighter. And I am. Make no mistake about it. I fucking fight like fuck. Do not kid yourself. In more ways than you'll fucking ever fucking know. I fucking do so much. I fight with passion. And I'll fight with passion. I have for years. I have for years and years because I grew up right now in this incredible mighty Wasatch in this incredible, pristine, beautiful place. I love the birds. I love the trees. I love the air. It's all I've ever really loved. It is my romance. It is the true love in my soul. This place, 
this beautiful, horrible place we call the United States, Mother Earth, all over, as you fuckers rape and pillage and let Fukushima lie and go on like that. Let BP exactly just destroy that fucking doll. Tear it a fucking part. And nothing has, we have the five radicals in Rogue. When Bush did not even win and appointed the two radicals, Alito and Roberts, when they shouldn't even be there. You don't think lies can compound and affect us all? And you don't think Fukushima, this story will not go away. There are boys all over. There's a lot going on with them trying to prosecute the executives. I have people all over. As soon as anything happens, it's going to happen. There's going to be all kinds of stuff pouring out this summer. I can't go on the road and do anything until this comes out of me. I'm being radiated every day, but it's come to an end. I'm feeling better, and I'm feeling stronger every day. I'm back on my feet again. I am back on my feet again. Look. You young people, don't turn into these baby boomer environmentalists fucking latte, fucking drinking tomato, eating, driving fucking curious pieces of shit. You breathe fucking monkey in your skin. You fucking read Rachel Carson, Silent Spring. You fucking dive into fucking Teddy Roosevelt. You Google who Tim Christopher is. And you tell me, if it isn't outrage that he's sitting in a prison cell for two years and the BP fucking executives are walk, as you watch that parody, as I do across the Child State Prison, as you look, that is the Bingham open copper mine you can see out there. That is the Mormon Temple. That is the court that he was convicted in. All of that is right there. It is a metaphorical giant, that freaking thing. I think it's the best work I have ever done, that video. Look. If you're not fucking outraged what happened to Fukushima, everybody says, what can I do? What can I do? Number one, stop being ignorant. Make yourself aware of the situation that's going on. Don't fall for all the corporate fucking media bullshit. At least, at least, know who Kim Christopher is. Know who the BP executives are. Know who the five radicals in fucking robes are. Know fucking who is fucking your vote as you walk into the booth. And I know our votes don't mean shit. I know they don't mean shit. I know that political fucking party's been getting up and whatever. I mean, I know it's pathetic. But you cannot say that I drive a fucking Prius and I eat organic tomatoes that I'm doing my part. You're not doing your fucking part. Goody goody two shoes. What do you do? Don't think, don't fight. What do you do? It's time we all fucking get passionate and fucking fight. Fight, I fucking do fight. More than people fucking ever fucking know, and I won't quit till the day I die. My favorite tree currently died. I'm heartbroken. I was hoping there could be her and two of them right here. They're usually here this time of night. That's why I waited to shoot this this time of night, hoping I could catch it. An incredible, incredible, beautiful place, our Utah, our Mother Earth. As your children have autism, oh, that's okay. You still vote for fuckers like Hatch and fucking Mike Lee Short. Do as I say, not as I do. Go ahead and vote for those guys. It makes me sick. As you say, oh, we have the highest autism fucking rate in the fucking world right here in Utah. But you check that out and over and over again, my friend. As they support these fuckers. Look, if you think that the rate of autism is higher here because I can prove to you in my PhD, not true. We do not vaccinate it any different than anywhere in the United States and never had. Why is our rate here? Because our environmental laws have been so lax, lax, lax. Persania like right here, Kennecott fucking right here. The fucking refineries. You know why they're here? Because fuck the 405 other states won't let them in. As this become the Republican right wing so-called Mormon thesis to rape the earth. Mother is a whore. And you guys think that's okay because you've been a guy. You don't even think. You just go check that elf and as John Huntsman proved that to you. The biggest, strongest fucking liberal this state's ever fucking seen. He runs as an elephant. You vote him in. Oh, I know that guy. He got money. Oh, oh, oh he's a Republican chick. Don't... When you start fighting for your own kids and waking up and look, well, do you think there's a coincidence? One in 44 in Utah, the highest? When the fuck we're so poisoned, the open air tests in Nevada rained over us for those fucking years? Plutonium's half-life is 25,000 years. I've sat in that fucking hospital and I've watched these young people fucking die in my face. I watched them load my father in the fucking body bag. As we are the cancer capital of the world, as you stand by here, as you stand by and you check that elephant again over and over, Oh, free market fairy tale. Oh, free market, free market. Oh, yeah. Well, Cal, why don't you have them come pull the fucking chemical bomb fire in your fucking yard? Because that's what they're doing. They're killing your kids. They're killing you. You stand by a goody goody two shoes. Goody, as you got hair and you don't fight thing and you walk into that fucking church and pretend you're a Christian when you're no fucking Christian. You're asymmetric to any Christianity. You are completely the opposite of Jesus. You are the devils. You are the devils. Goody goody two shoes, what do you do? What fucking do you do? Stand by and suck up fucking nuclear air. Let your children fucking get sick. Let your fucking family die of cancer. Oh, they're in a better path. How the fuck do you know where they're at? 
Kevin Blanche, as soon as anything happens on Fukushima, as soon as anything happens with Tim Christopher, as soon as anything happens with the TEPCO BP fucking creeps, I have people all over. I'll get it to you. Guaranteed I'll get it to you. I'm not dead. I came through it. My favorite tree died. It's heartbreaking. Kevin Blanche.